This summer, we took a two-week family road trip. These are days 10 through 15, Illinois and the road home. We had discussed so many other options for the final week of our trip, but after the whirlwind of the first week and the sheer amount of time we had spent driving, we decided to just hightail it for Illinois and to spend a few days hanging out with my parents. She looks back in fear. She knows I'm watching her. The girls always find something interesting or just plain silly to do at Grandma and Grandpa's. She opens YouTube and finds kids slime videos to watch. As you can see, she started a staring contest. This is how the Texan rats tried to prove their dominance. I'm trying to eat you and you're my personal place. <laughs> she closes the door for privacy, but she doesn't know the kids go to sleep. We enjoyed just being in one spot for a few days. In the morning of my sister's arrival, my dad and I went fishing. For once, he caught more than I did. There we go. Got it. Our family reunion was at Grand Bear Resort, just outside of Starved Rock State Park in North Utica, Illinois. The evening of our arrival, the family that was there gathered outside to have food and drink and just catch up. My favorite part about family get-togethers are the stories. My father has four brothers and two sisters, and every time we get together, there are stories to be told about growing up on the farm. This time was no exception. Most of the family get-togethers are informal, but there are always stories. Oh well, wow. had a French name in Belgium, and it meant he was the German. Uh, the ditch was okay, but so, like I said, it was our entertainment. He went into the ditch and got away from the house and got away from work. And uh, he bridge on the ditch, over the ditch. He sat on the bridge for hours, fishing, fishing off the bridge. In the, the ditch, the, the bridge, the old style frame that went up and over was a perfect place to hide stuff because it was inside the frame. So we would we stuff that playboard we ripped off of our older brother and hid it up there. Well, one day we were down, Tim and I, and I think the Powell, and we were looking at that magazine, and we looked over our corner, and who's walking down? Connie. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> come down and visit us. <laughs> well, wow. Tim, 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 Tim pitched the Playboy over the side, so we couldn't see it. That Playboy opened up. <laughs> and <laughs>
go and uh, touch them, and then they'll wake up. They'll get their head out. <laughs> I did it one day. I had a whole circle of them in the barnyard. And the next morning, Dad came in the house and said, we lost 20 chickens last night. I have no idea. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say a word. <laughs> My dad had put together this more formal reunion, mostly for my cousins, most of whom never knew my grandfather, who died when I was just two years old. Very early Sunday morning, we set out for home. Yeah, so it's 6-11, we're on the road. We're into perdition, road to highway to hell, the road to San Antonio, eventually here. <laughs> if all goes well, we should be rolling into San Antonio around 11 o'clock tonight. Maybe. You heard that right, 16 hours on the road. I've been making this drive for the better part of 25 years. Having grown up in Illinois, I despise driving through the endless farmland. Illinois is so flat that there is a stretch of Interstate 55 south of Springfield where you can drive for 30 miles without turning your steering wheel. I'll spare you the 16 hours of driving. Thankfully, we didn't hit any snags and pulled into our driveway at the exact time Google Maps had told us we would 16 hours earlier. This truly was an amazing road trip. There are only a few more years we'll be able to do this as a family. As my kids grow up and leave home, I hope they remember these trips and carry them into their own families as they get older. So this is our first stop at Rocky Mountain now. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hey, be sure to hit like or subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Just go three, two, one.